America at a fraction of what dealerships charge and is now available to the public by calling today. The number to call is 800-216-8211. 800-216-8211. That's 800-216-8211. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Once again, the one and only Fred Dreyer. We have uh, a couple of uh, things here. Take your pencils down. There's a little a quiz. A quiz. I love yeah. quizzes. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the question is, when yes. does the leap of faith become a jump to conclusions? When does the leap of faith become a jump to conclusions? I don't know. When does a leap of faith become a jump to conclusions? When? I'm going to tell you at the last segment of the show. Oh, boy. And Ooh. the other thing else is... Uh, uh, in the world of sports, there's one thing that you will never, ever see in the world of sports. This is one thing you will never, ever see. So those are two things you want to write right. down. This is great. And at the end of the, uh, 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 the, end of the hour, then uh, we will uh, divulge to you the answers to these because there are answers, ladies and gentlemen, like there are anything else in life. All right. Taxes and answers. Taxes, taxes and answers. Now, speaking of which, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, the difference uh, between uh, the GOP party with Ronald Reagan and the GOP party without him. And uh, what we have now is we've got him. Uh, Mr. Reagan is no longer with us. We have now a Republican Party that is so wrapped up in their own politics that they've forgotten how to... Uh, to, to find a candidate and let the talents of the candidate go. Oh, I like Rem yeah. re Remember, it's, it's the individual you're voting for. Every, every president should be able to stand up and, and speak off the top of his head about what he believes to be true about not only the culture, but whatever, whatever the topic of the day is, about America, about uh, the Yankees' chances uh, you know, in the World Series, whatever it is, you should be able to talk about it off the top of his head without cue cards or with anything else. You can organize your thoughts, certainly. But you, you don't need teleprompters unless you're making a specific speech. And, and you should be able to articulate your beliefs. Ronald Reagan did that. He, he realized that the press was the enemy, which they're, they're worse now than they've ever been. He just pushed them aside. He'd get off the helicopter, put his hand up to his ear, and they would yell out things during, uh, you know, Iran Gate. Or right. Iraq, and, and he would just simply say, uh, what? I can't hear you. You know, and he would push right past them. They hated him because he was so smart. He handled them beautifully. He knew how to speak off the top of his head. And, uh, and, uh, and, and the, the Republican Party has not had anybody, anybody since then, match him in his uh, personal dy dy dynamic way. You're right. And, uh, and Absolutely so, right. And, and so that is what a, a party looks for. Bill Clinton's a charming guy. Barack Obama is a charming guy. You know, and, and, and all of these people that uh, that uh, know how to manipulate the press, especially if you're a Democrat, the press is on your side. You, you could kill somebody right in front of everybody and they they, they wouldn't know it. You know, they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't cough it up. They wouldn't turn you in. But what, what you have today is you got Mitt Romney. You got Mitt Romney today. And what what Mitt Romney should be doing has been so beautifully articulated again in The American Thinker by William L. Gensert, G-E-N-S-E-R-T. And it says, the article says, the caption is, take off the gloves, Mitt. And this is what, this is what uh, uh, we're talking about. This is exactly what the people in this country, this is what the conservatives want, the right of center, the Tea Party people. This is what the people uh, uh, across this country want. They want Mitt Romney to, to, to come out and attack Barry and all of these reprobates and tell the truth and, and get upset and pissed off about it and, and start going after the press. You know, there's a couple of instances here, you know, uh, where, uh, where uh, I think Romney was making a, uh, a speech and he was coming out about, uh, you know, about jobs, in which we have a, a sound by here late, later on about that, about jobs and about uh, creating your own jobs and uh, the government didn't do it, so forth and so on. And, and after it was all over with, the press started asking him questions about uh, Condoleezza Rice. 
being a vice president. Yeah. He started asking him questions about, oh, are you going to get, you give your tax returns up? And not, and not one time did Romney say, hey, just a second. I just spoke here for about 40 minutes about something very passionately that I believe in. It's part of my campaign. And you people aren't asking me one question about it. And here's what you do. You go out and start naming names. Exactly. You, you, you name a name, NBC News, CS, MSNBC, you know, what, whoever it is, Fox, whoever it is, the ones that don't so, start reporting the news, what people say, you got to go after them. And this is what this is what Newt did in the primaries, and he was he was roundly rewarded for it. He was. People wanted to have have somebody a uh, uh, righteous indignation articulated beautifully. And right now, you're having freedom ripped away from people. You're having this president stuff everything that is not American right into your knapsack, and and. He He's telling you, what are you going to do about it? And then here comes Mitt. He shows up with this guy, uh, Ed Gillespie. Have you seen this guy? Ed Gillespie. He, he shows up, and all Ed Gillespie does is apologize. It's in his voice. It's in everything that he says and what he does. You know, and, and, and uh, 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 Mitt has got to, got to take the bull by the horn, and he's got to uh, 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 address people. Uh, in, in a manner by which he makes people believe that he believes he should be president, that that he's the that he's the representative of the people, not the GOP establishment, the people that will go out and just simply say that's BS. You shouldn't be doing that. He should go after the press. He should go after Barry. The one thing Barry doesn't want you to do is dig into his past. He's he's a dope addict. And he's been uh, uh, sitting in the back of cars out of here in Hawaii, you know, all through his youth, while Mitt Romney here has been uh, 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 leading a beautiful life and, and, and accomplishing things and hiring people. You know, his, his, uh, his credentials are clear. And by the way, the things that Mitt Romney has done, he did. He earned that. He had no help from the government, you know. He had no help from the liberals. Well, that's not what Barry, no, like Barry uh, said that uh, if you got to— if you got a business, uh, you didn't earn that on yourself. Somebody gave yeah. that to you. Well, this article by William Gen uh, by William Gensert is real very interesting, uh, and uh, we'll uh, we're, we're going to pop into that. We have a gee, this 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 moment just went by so fast. Uh, but we're, we'll get into it when we come back. But uh, it, it is really revealing what is really being demanded of of Mitt Romney and our candidate is is someone who will stand up and start getting a little angry and go after it. Remember, right now, Mitt and, and uh, Ed Gillespie are playing into the narrative of Barack Obama. You've got to break it. You break it by going out and establishing your own, your own battleground, and you go out and you start telling people of America exactly what's going on and pull the plug and pull the covers on these people. Please do it. Now, it's the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio with the one and only Fred Dreyer. We continue straight ahead.